Hey guys, so it's Stephanie for Wednesday. Um, so yeah, I know last week was a really short video, and I'm really sorry about that. Um, but I've just been just brain fog is just setting in all the time now, and I'm forgetting a lot of things. So there's quite a lot that I have to talk with you guys this week. Um, so I'm going to try to keep it as short and sweet as possible. Um, but first of all, it's snowing! <laughs> um, over in Ireland, we may only get snow once a year, so, um, which should normally be around Christmas time, but over the last few years, it's been January, February, leading into March. Um, so last night, last, yesterday, it really snowed big time, and I decided with my sister that we should go build a snowman. So we did and we built a snowman we had carders and nose and put a scarf and hat on and everything on it. Oh this is awesome. And um, we took pictures on it. Um, so I might, I'll post a picture of my snowman. I called it Sully. Um, like out of Monsters Inc. Um, it was a big scary monster. I'll post a picture on our Facebook wall of my snowman. It was kind of cool. Uh, so yeah, what else did we talk about? Uh, oh yeah, I went out with my friends on Friday, which was really good. I um, haven't seen them in a long time. We went to a restaurant, which was really nice. Um, they were so nice and friendly. Um, and after that, we went to a few bars, which was kind of cool we went to one and it was full of old people so we left <laughs> so we went to another one which had no one in but it was good crack and then it started to get really packed and a band then was playing so it was kind of cool the band was very interesting um all boys of course <laughs> uh so we had good fun yeah catching up with them i got give them their christmas presents um and i got they give me theirs, so it was kind of cool getting a wee late Christmas present open on it, um, which was really fun. I haven't had a lot of that much fun in like a long time. But out with my friends, I realised just how much I actually miss them, and I know it's not their fault, but it's kind of hard seeing them with them being at school and them having their own boyfriends and their own sort of life outside of school um as I don't have any of that anymore um so I found it quite difficult to say goodbye to them I didn't want to go home just because I was having such a good time um but yeah that was that so it was really good and um we said we must do it again sometime so I'm actually looking forward to that and I hope we do it really soon Maybe keep things maybe once a month going out or going to someone's house or something like that. It'd be kind of cool. Um, I don't know if any of you guys know, but I recently got a letter in from an appointment for a rheumat rheumatologist. Oh, I can't even say it now. Rheumatologist. Um, he's a new young doctor working in the hospital in Derry, where I live. Um... He's called Dr. Yan Hao. I think I've said that right. Um, but I was basically going to see him to see because my pops doctor referred me on saying I need physio so maybe he could organise that and things like that. Um, I was kind of disappointed when I went in. Um, I thought he was going to magically cure me and I was going to be out of my wheelchair. But I found out that's not really going to be possible. He says I need intense physio. Um, and it was over in Ireland, we don't have that available. I know a lot of the American people or any other country have all that. Um, physio is really hard to get over here. Um, I've been to a physio before and they said they won't touch me. Just in case they make me worse or whatever. And what else? Um, when I first had POTS and EDS, and all of my other conditions, I was told I was really young to have them. Um, but then I was told then on Tuesday that I'm now too old. 
uh, because there is a person down in Belfast, which is the next nearest hospital from where I live, um, that there's a paediatrician who actually does intense physio with young children. Um, but as I am now 18, they won't take me, but she said that intense physio will be really good for me just to even have it for a week but they spend the week in the hospital just doing intense physio the whole way and I said I'd be up for that but as he said then as I'm too old which was kind of a bummer why tell me it and that sounded so good and then been like oh sorry you're too old um so that was a kind of a bummer but um but he says he will have a word with her and see if she will or she won't but in this day and age, she probably has a list of whoever and it's probably not going to go well. Um, so I'm kind of like struggling that. So sort of door closed when he said there was nothing he could really do. Um, he said he's going to send me to another guy, a geneticist, to see about different things. Um, he took a pile of bloods, which have all been done before, to check my liver and my lungs and all that crack um there was one new test done um that i haven't got done before um muscle or something um blood test uh muscle test so he says he's going to send me a day a geneticist and they'll do a pile of more tests running but he thinks there may be something underlying but we're not entirely sure yet um so he basically said yeah nothing much i need intense physio but over here the medical profession professionals don't provide that for me so that is a no-go at the minute um so yeah i'm sort of back to where i was um i'm going to try myself um strengthening my own legs up and my own arms and stuff um at the minute, I'm having a real problem with my feet. Um, they're really, really cold. No matter how many pairs of socks I wear, it doesn't matter. They're cold, and he did say, "Well, if you're obviously if you're not going, if they're not moving, they're obviously going to be cold, and you will develop more problems as you go on." Um, but like at the end of the day, how is that my fault if they're not going to move, and how is that my fault that? Do you know what I mean? I'm sort of confused that. Oh, it's all my fault now that they're my fault they're really getting cold and stuff like that. I try my best. Um most of my socks are fluffy socks and if people do buy me presents or anything, it is either slippers or warm fluffy socks and I don't know anymore. I'm just so I would just love to go to America and just get sorted out like you guys all are. Cause Oh, I don't know. I'm under, I'm under, I'm on so much medication. I would love to just say to someone, I'll put you on three tablets a day if you go on maybe injections. I think I would try anything at this moment in time. I would love to be able to get myself out of my wheelchair and be like, you know what, I can beat this. Um, but my mobility is a problem and has been for the last two and a half years and there's nothing I can really do for that and there's nothing that anyone's willing to have to take on board. Um no physio will touch me, even private ones that I would be willing to pay for. Uh they just won't touch um in case they make me any worse. But for me I'd be trying anything. If they make me worse they make me worse but then I can at least say I've tried my best. I've tried this. I haven't done anything about it. So my next step now is to try and just build up my muscles and my legs. So I'm going to start going to a gym. But I have to go check it out first to see if there was maybe a personal trainer that will be willing to train someone in a wheelchair or has anyone ever done it before. Because I know some gyms and dairy are mostly upstairs, like you have to go upstairs to get them. Um, and they don't have lifts and stuff. Uh, so, yeah, that's my goal at the minute. I always say I'm doing exercise at the house, but I start for maybe a few 
three, four, five days, and I think I'm doing really well. And then I stop then all together because I'm just too tired. So, yeah, I sort of rumbled on a bit. Um, but yeah, that was my Tuesday doctor with the rheumatologist. Um, I was not happy, and not a happy camper anyway. Um, I was just really upset. Uh, with everything, so, yeah, so hopefully I'm not having expectations anymore to go into the doctor saying, they're going to cure me today, they're really going to cure me, um, because as he did say, there's no magic potion, this isn't going to go away overnight, but strange how nothing will go away overnight, but I lost the power of my legs overnight. That's kind of bad. Um, so yeah. But I hope you guys are all doing well. And um, uh, my question probably this week will be: Have you any of you guys had experience with your rheumatologist saying you need intense physio, but it's not available? Um, because I obviously I knew that I need intense physio and. I've read it online, and I've, I probably know more about my own conditions than actual doctors do at the moment. But, we'll see, we'll see. Um, so if you guys have any advice, maybe what to do next, or anything, just comment below, or send me a message on Facebook, or you know what, anything, just get in contact with me, and... I would love for you guys to give me a topic for next week's video, um, as maybe doing something that would benefit you, maybe, as it maybe showing you an exercise video on how I would exercise at home, been in a wheelchair, or, I don't know, anything at all, really, basically, uh, I'd be more than happy as long as it's helping somebody out there, uh, so that was my experience with my first rheumatologist, so not a good experience, um, he was lovely and everything, but I thought they could do so much more after everybody was like, oh, they're so good, and yeah, nah. So guys, I'll see you next week for Wednesday. Oh, and by the way, happy Valentine's to all you lovers out there, because I know it's Valentine's on Friday. I can't wait. I've gone away for the weekend with my boyfriend, so love to y'all, and I hope you have a romantic weekend. Bye, guys.